Looky here. Another good Craigslist find. <laughs> it's a Honda. HTR 3009. Bought at $70. Problem with this um, uh, lawnmower is... Uh, let's go under the hood here real quick. And here's the engine. It does run. I might start it up, but it likes to smoke a little bit. It's not overfilled with oil. It just burns a little bit for about 30 seconds. See? These stupid Honda batteries. So as soon as you just put in this battery. This is actually a, um, it's a five speed with reverse. And, um, the problem with this thing is the guy used it to tow his jet ski trailer out of his garage. And, um, he went to adjust the brakes supposedly. And now the thing doesn't drive anymore. Well, this thing, even though it's a five speed manual inside, it works hydraulically. See this? This is what he messed with, but this is the shifter. This basically has um, is a valve. When you push in, it lets oil pass through, or the other way around. And it just that's how it works. Um, right down here. I think it's a work to it. I got to drive a little bit, but then it drives about five feet and stops. It's just, I gotta get it to work for better. And the mower deck, can't see it. Lower it down. There. See, a little bit better. We had to do some modding there, because that was, that was all loose. We just put all the washer in there. Our engagement. This thing, that's the tie rod. Just a piece of pipe. It's pretty strong too. This thing I think is a 1980, between an 85 and 88. And this thing is clean for its age. All this other controls. But this thing runs really nice. I just had to change the spark plug, but it's kind of a weird dipstick. Yeah. That's a funny little muffler really restrictive on this thing. There's the spark plug in here. This is the parking brake. But that's what I bought it for and I figured, what the hell, might as well buy it for... This is one of my other new projects you guys haven't seen. It is a um, old commercial Great Dane mower deck that I'm making into a pull behind mower, and I found this thing, so I'm figuring out ah, the rear end's blown, I'll just take the motor. But this thing is a really nice tractor, and this thing is not gonna be a go kart. I know all you guys want to, it's just too nice. It's too nice, and I don't have any lawn mowers here. I have my dad's mower, I don't have any of my craftsmen's here, they're all in my mom's house, so this thing's gonna be a mower. So there's the ball hitch in here, but he had to tow it, but here's the, this is actually the engine off, remember that go-kart a year ago I made a video of? This is the same engine I'm going to throw on this thing. I just had to disengage the brakes and that's the new kill. Let's go down here. See, there's the wheels. I've painted a lot of stuff has been going on and haven't took a new video. See all the pieces of paint and if you follow my Instagram see it here's the frame actually all sandblasted and done I'm just gonna repaint it and reassemble on the transmission stupid thing there they just tore it apart anyway I'll show you I'm just gonna turn the key on here and watch this you have the key on and if you have the key on and this would be if it's running you have it in gear Sounds out alarm until you take off the parking brake. But it just got to take a little bit more work. The blade I was trying to get off. But the mower deck and everything does work. It just needs to. I need to figure out, make sure that thing returns or something. But this is a very well made tractor. Very well made. Problem I had with this actually yesterday is this thing. 
plug on there ended up stopped functioning, so I had to go tear apart all this front plastic down there and bypass it. Mm -hmm. It'll start up here probably. I'm not going to run it for that long. Let's see. <laughs> Fuel's off. Won't run without fuel. I don't think it's going to start now, but she does run. If you want to see future updates on like some of this stuff or the go-kart, it's my other go-kart I've been working on. Gotta get some stuff for it, but if you want to see some more updates under all this stuff, um, follow my Instagram account. It's diesel underscore Sears. All lowercase, no spaces. Just if you want to see future updates, just because it's easier to post stuff on that than YouTube. But thank you to all my subscribers. I have hardly any. Um, my new puppet video, the it's called the Spring Update. Um, it's not about all my machinery stuff, it's just me and my friend making a video. It's on my iPad, I haven't been able to upload it yet, but I am going to upload it. You know, maybe this thing will start now. Nope. I guess not, but... If I do get it running, get it running, I will take a video of it and when I get it driving and properly working and everything, I'll show you guys. But the steering's all nice. Nice good steering. It's engagement. You know anything about these um Honda HDR 3009s then shoot me some messages, but thing behind this thing is I bought this thing Tumwater, Washington and I can't tell you guys where the location is for the privacy policy on YouTube but you can see and trust Honda Auburn Washington that's where she was serviced at a while ago this guy bought it actually just a few weeks ago to pull his jet ski trailer in and out and he went to adjust the brakes and I'm pretty sure he thought that was the brakes but I'll pull my light over here that thing up in there this thing right here those are the brakes that thing has never been touched it's got a Kirkland battery in it but I steam cleaned it until the steam cleaner finally gave out he's a new heat exchanger little small tank but this isn't going to my mom's house this is gonna stay here it's a nice little mower I gotta get a new blade for it and that's about it I just need it get this thing to drive. The transmission is not blown. It is working transmission. But this thing is very well built. Very nice indeed. All these kills and stuff. And you can see, if you've ever seen a Murray, the shift on the go, or shift on the fly, how they engage that, well this thing, you can see it pulling that cable down here. That goes around. And that pulls on there. Same with the clutch, except this doesn't activate the brake. But, whatever. But, I'm not going to really get much done. This, I'm going to, um... In about a week, I'm going to Vegas. And if you guys remember the Steel FS85, I might do some videos on that this week. I got to do more brush cutting. Some videos at my mom's house. But... Oh, you guys haven't seen the coolest part of the old go-kart. The hood. This is the color it's going to be. It needs some more paint. and It's just dusty. Anyway, and I need to... Um, this week's going to be half days for me at school. And um, I'm going to get some... Uh, some weed whacking done there. But I'm going to Arizona, so... And all the Grand Canyon, Utah, and all that. So if I somehow can, I might make some puppet videos there. That'll be cool. But 
This thing, you won't see any video of it probably this week or next week. Within the next two weeks or week and a half or something, hopefully. Maybe this week. Maybe. I'm not sure, but the reason it's not old and torn up is you can see the seat is in perfect condition. It's just faded. But that can, a little acetone will get all that out. But that's where I'm going to end it here. And as always, if you must get a mower and you can get it, keep it Honda.